Well, good morning and good night. <laughs> good morning at night. <laughs> that's the uh, that's the greeting. That's what I want to say. Good morning at night. That's because uh, while I'm saying good morning and I'm starting the day, it's about eight o'clock at night. Yeah, it is 19 hours and 59 minutes into the day of Thursday, March 27th, 2014. And this is our second day of the day. <laughs> yeah. Uh, as you know, as I said, I said uh, from, from uh, when I vlogged yesterday, uh, I had a major system malfunction. I had to do a deep, major debug. It took... Uh, I didn't finish until 10.30. I started at uh, 10.30 in the morning. I started just about 11 at night. So that was a 12-hour debug that I went through. In that period of time, I did my laundry. Started working on... I got, I got halfway through a scanning project where I scanned in 500 pages. It's a, I'm uh, working on my Greek, and I needed a book... Uh, I have a book, but I wanted to put it on my Android, and the only way to, to do it is to scan it in because this is an old text. Uh, the best way to do it is simply work it as a, with, work with it as a scan, as a scan, and you bring the scan as a PDF file into GIMP, and you fix everything up. And at some point in time, you have uh, uh, a PDF book. And uh, it does take some time to work on it. It's about a week to two weeks worth of work. So I started that last night. Got a good chunk of the way through it. Because a lot of times, you have to watch the computer to see what it's doing. You know, and there are different things you have to interact. Not a lot of stuff you have to do in between. But there's enough stuff that you have to do in between that you have to sort of sit there in front of the computer and uh, wait for it to do what it needs to do. Uh, so... Either you sit there and do nothing and just watch TV, which is like what I used to do. Now I've sort of figured out, well, well, it, let's see if there's something else I can do while I'm uh, working on the computer. And that's what the Android uh, Cyborg Alpha Mu helps me do. And other systems that are now on the network help me do. Is, is that I always now, at every station where I'm working at, there's more than one system so that uh, idle time does not have to necessarily be idle. In other words, you can fill the time that you, where you've got nothing left to do. Uh, but watch the system with other work that night needs to be done. Maybe there's products that are stalled, things that need to get done, you know, other, other things that need, sort of need, to, need to be done. Uh, but somehow, you never seem to have the time to do them. So this is where you bring these projects in. You can sort of start getting caught up. And what happens is your lag time, the time that, 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 that the interrupt costs you, isn't as bad as it would be as if you sat there and did nothing. In other words... If you decided not to do anything during that time, just sort of that 12 hours, that 12 hours would have been completely lost because that interrupt would have come in and knocked off that whole 12-hour segment. I mean, you still have the rest of the work you had to do during the day. I mean, this, these interrupts aren't, aren't planned. They're not planned. They, these things occur. And so what happens is what you plan to get done and sort of if you have a schedule of things you need to get done, and that 12 hour comes in, well, you've now, now lost 12 hours. Where, well, if the uh, multitasking stations, where you can do multiple things at one pl at one place, uh, now allow you to sort of, well, if something does occur, that interrupt occurs, the 12 hours isn't lost. I mean, you do lose some time because you do have to pay attention to what you're doing. So some time is lost. There's also, there's also the time where it does take you a couple hours uh, to get over the anxiety, you know, when you first experience these problems, 
the feeling isn't fun. It's not. It, it, there is a queasiness. There's there's a queasiness to it. There's a <laughs> you know there's a bit of a panic in the beginning as to what has actually happened, and it takes you basically about an hour or so to sort of figure out what has happened, how much damage has occurred, and in other words, do the assessment to say, okay, okay, here's what occurred. Here's ne here's what's ne here's what here here is what needs to be done. And then you also calculate at the same time how much you've lost or how much you could lose. And what you do is you take the worst case scenario and say, okay, well, let's see what in the worst case scenario. Worst case scenario, here's what I lose. How to resolve that particular problem? And you work from the worst case scenario on up. Uh, that's the way I do it. And that's what happens is if I work from the worst case scenario on up, it does provide me with a, with <laughs> with a bit of of ease as I go through it because it's not always, a lot of times things aren't always as bad as you imagine them to be. Sometimes it can be bad. This is not to say that, 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 that this isn't always the case. But if you tend to work, work from the worst case scenario on up, uh, you tend to see improvements as things progress. And as that happens, that sort of, the sight of improvement gives you the uh, motivation to keep moving forward. Otherwise, you would more likely than not quit. If you didn't see any success, if you didn't see any progress, in other words, you didn't start at the worst case scenario, this could get worse and worse and worse and worse, uh, at some point in time, uh, most people would quit. But if you start from the worst case scenario and then work your way up, then you have, you work from success to success. Again, this doesn't always happen. Sometimes you try things, things don't work, and you have to try something else, and in other words, there's a lot of unknowns involved, and you have to be prepared for them. And they're not easy to go through. But as you start chugging through, and it takes you about an hour to two hours to sort of get your bearings as to where you are, uh, then you start improving your look, outlook on things. And as your outlook starts to improve, more ideas start flowing in, and things slowly progress to a point where, okay, We've had a problem. Let's start digging out up. Let's, let's start digging our way out. Uh, and uh, <laughs> at some point in time, you come to a point where you're, you're somewhat back on schedule again. We're not there yet. We still have a lot more work to do today. Uh, there is a lot of digging out and repair work that needs to be done today. Uh, as the prayers help for me, well, this, for me anyway, prayers help. It's not necessarily prayer that you're worshiping somebody. Uh, my religion is not like that. It's like, uh, for me, God is like my father. That's my, he's like my dad. And sometimes you get stuck, and when you get stuck, you need to ask for help. You know, there's no problem. There's no shame in asking for help if you get stuck on something. You know, most kids do that with, with their parents. You know, you get stuck on something, you go and ask your parents for help. Parents get stuck on something, they, they ask you for help, you go help them. You know, that's kind of the way the relationship works. And this is kind of the relationship that uh, I'm offered to have with God. And so if, if that's the uh, situation, then, you know, why not? Uh, and that's why I have, uh, you know, I have pictures up of, of, of God and, and, and the family. For me, it's not more, it's not more of an issue, oh, I have a picture up of God, I have a picture up of my family. That's my dad, and that's my mom, and that's my aunt, and that's my uncle. That's, you know, the relations, their family. Anyways, our time is up. I think we've gone over time a little bit, so uh, I will see you in the next segment. All right, take it easy. Pushing on and finding your way. <laughs> That's kind of the uh, the focus of this particular uh, segment. Is uh, I'm still in a fatigue mode from from yesterday, from uh, what happened. It's not even yesterday; a couple hours ago. Uh, and what happens is that when these things, when these interruptions occur, when these unexpected events occur. Is that you feel like you've been buried alive? It takes you after this this sort of situation uh, a while to sort of figure your way out of things, but you do try to keep pushing on. You try to sort of figure out what you could get, uh, get out of it, and, and sometimes it, 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 even when your body is exhausted, because you know 
the the walking because I always walk to do my food shopping. People wonder why I have that big backpack and why I'm out the way I am. That that goes on every on a weekly basis. You'll see this on a weekly basis that uh, I go food shopping on a weekly. That, that, that this is what I do on a regular basis. That's how I do my food shopping. Uh, and I do all my shopping like that by by, by walking. And if, what I've done is I've incorporated the, the so-called exercise and healthy lifestyle. It, it, it's it's into my life. It's it's part of it's part of what I do. It's not and it's not. Something I add on to my life. It's not an extracurricular. It's not something to do afterwards. It's something to do as a part of my life. So you know, I'm not going to be going <laughs> to go to an eco walk, right? You know, all these there, they, they, where they show, close off all the streets downtown. People take their SUVs downtown to go to these walks. You know, they take the cars. You know, you want to go bike riding. You want to go out to the country to go bike riding. You take your car and you go bike riding in the country, right? That's the way they do it. Uh, here it's completely different. Is walking is my is my main transport. That's my main transport. That's how I get places. Uh, I don't take the transit. I, I have found the transit rather distasteful. And it's not it's not because of the people on the bus. It's the actually uh, the way the system operates. Uh, you know, leave leave something to the government. They'll screw it up as as, as badly as possible. You know, the the union and the union people. That, I'm I'm sorry for the union people that are in there. But you know, you get really bad attitudes. You get, and the thing is, you don't want you, if you're in an, if you're in a community like I am, like with an Asian community, everyone works hard. No one's working. No one's sort of sitting back and lying around. Everyone works very very hard. But you also know that you, when you're meeting people, you have to be pleasant. You have to be cordial. You have to be. You know, there are manners that you're supposed to have, regardless of where you are, what situation you're working in. This is not understood by the government. The government is, is like is like these, you know, when you walk into these fancy stores, where you, you feel like um, the make staff makes you feel like like you're bothering them, you know, and when it shouldn't be like that, you know, that's that's that, that's not the way to do things. Uh, <laughs> but as I said, thinking, higher thought, um, exercise, healthy living. Uh, even spirituality, if they're only a shallow thing, then they're extracurricular. If they are integral to your life, then they're not extracurricular. They're part of what you are. They're part of what you do. And it's part of your daily existence. And so these things simply uh, prove out and they test where you are in the whole scope of things. And it actually helps. It helps you to think more. It helps you to sort of be more thoughtful. Uh, and in a technical sense, it actually helps you out where you need to go. I mean, you know, I now understand more about about Linux. I now understand more about how, how uh, you know you can work with your freaking lifestyle. Or with a freaking lifestyle, I should say. Excuse me for uh, yawning. Uh, and so you can push on, you can sort of expand your horizons, you can uh, develop a sense in a lifestyle that uh, where everything is well integrated, but also at the same time you're learning on a daily basis. I mean, if you can be learning on a daily basis, you can be growing on a daily basis, that's a good thing. And this whole, this whole same, the same thing here is that uh, at the end of a particular problem, are you getting better or are you getting worse? And do you have progress at the end or do you have a setback at the end? You know, and the, 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 the determination of this really determines how you think about and how you then sort of, you know, is it pushing on and finding your way. Thinking about things is how you find, in many ways, how you find your way. You do have to do some testing with it, and, and then eventually move in that direction. And the thing is that the, the, this is what's happening here: is that well, I've got, I got my laundry done. I'm working. I've, I've, I, I'm doing a lot more on the scanning. Uh, I'm thinking about how, and, and I've thought about how to uh, improve my uh, position in terms of doing more more work for. Uh, the FFmpeg group that I'm belonging to, uh, and then I'm getting into this very slowly because Q&A and uh, uh, package managing is, is, is an important part of this community here. You, you, th there's a lack of people uh, 
who are involved. I mean, that's part of the crisis that's in open source, and part of the problem of open source that you have to resolve, and has to be resolved, is how do you involve people of different backgrounds, and different thoughts, different ideas, different ego, you know, different egos. Um, <laughs> You know, in a sense, there where no one owns anything. In an open source environment, everything is shared. You're you're in a shared environment, and it's a chore in some ways. It is a task. It is a struggle to find common ground where you can take whatever skills you have and then apply them in such a way that they're not overbearing. That they're not sort of possessive and become a shared value rather than a possessive value. I mean, our possessive values are things that we own, things that we control, things that we want our own way. A shared value is something where we take the possessive and we freely give it out to be shared, to be used by others in ways that maybe we never intended it to be used. And this is kind of how these communities work. And so I, I'm happy that, that this is what's happened, that this is evolving the way it has. And that, yeah, it's going to take me some time to get all this stuff out, to get everything organized, to rearrange the network so that it's more balanced, so that if these things pop up again, that uh, it doesn't slow things down as much. Uh, <laughs> these are all things that are to be worked on, things that, are, that need to be done. Uh, and at some point in time, I think they will get done. They do move slowly. I'm not as, the quickest person when, it's, this, when it comes to this stuff. Uh, but as it, it's a learning process. Anyways, uh, that's it for this segment. This is the second segment, and I'll give you the time and date stamp. It is six hours and one minute into the day of Friday, March 28th, 2014, and our time is now up. Good morning and good afternoon. I think by now you're getting to know that my uh, sleep schedule uh, continuously flips around. <laughs> so that when I say good morning, it's not always morning, but it's not always night. It's uh, it could be any time. So it's this at this time it is. Let's give me a minute here. Here we go. It is thirteen hours and 37 minutes into Saturday, March 29th, 2014. Yeah, we're just starting the day. Uh, I was still a little wiped out from uh, dealing with the, uh, the collapse of the hard drive. It's the file server. That, the, the file server is rather old. So, and you just, I was sort of I was expecting it to go down, but I wasn't expecting it to go down the way it did go down. Uh, <clears throat> so, what's happening now is I've got a, a new hard drive is on the way to replace it, uh, but the file servers also have to be replaced. So that means what I have to do is I have to spread the uh, the uh, file server, the, the what used to be the function of the one single file server, now has to be spread across the, the entire network. Uh, sort of balance load the network and that way uh, provide a bit more protection for uh, the uh, hard drives for the file system uh, that's there. So that's gonna that's gonna take me some time to do. So I've I've found the problem. The uh, it appears to be that the uh, partition table seems to have disappeared. I have to now uh, move. Uh, two or three different hard drives onto the electronics bench, start a project uh, to learn how to recover and then refurbish uh, hard drives. I do have several old hard drives that I can work on, I can practice on, so I can work my way up to uh, data recovery and eventually hard refurbishing hard drives. That's sort of where the goal is right now. And as I said, one of the goals is when you're dealing with a crisis, is to find something positive that will come out of it. And this is something like, this is a positive direction. And the thing is, when I say a positive direction, that doesn't necessarily mean that all the problems are going to be resolved, or that in terms of what you lost, you're going to get everything back. It just simply means that overall, in the overall scheme of things, in terms of 
you know, at the end of the week, do you end up or down? You have some losses, but if your gains are more than enough to offset the losses, but not yet, let's say the, the gains aren't enough to offset the loss. Let's say you're in a right direction so that eventually the gains will offset the losses. Then, you know, that's, you're in a favorable position. The, the favorable position, sir, the favorable, favorable position is to be in a forward or a positive moving direction. You don't want to be in a negative moving project, projection, uh, 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 direction. <laughs> uh, fatigue. Uh, so that's where I am right now. I am in a positive moving direction. Uh, but do you think things are they're, they're gonna it's gonna take some time to resolve all the problems gonna take about a week to sort of get everything back week or more to get everything back and work because the hard drive is the new hard drive right, is not going to arrive uh, until sometime Thursday or Friday so uh, I'm gonna have to start rebalancing the network hopefully there's enough room on the network itself that we can accommodate uh, everything that needs to be done. I'm not too sure about that, but uh, I will start working on that rebalancing uh, today. Uh, and uh, but I'm still in the midst of studying my Greek, and there's a whole, all the other work has to be done, including laundry and so on. So everything else has to be done. So uh, the time frame is uh, not known right now. I've got uh, I've got a good direction. I know where I need to go, but as for the overall time frame, that has not been, cannot, I can't even begin to estimate that yet because of the amount that still has to be done. It was sort of determined while I'm in this fatigue state, how much work I can get done. Uh, and that will sort of determine, I'll know more on Sunday, Monday. There's two uh, where things are going. Uh, so, yeah. I'm going to leave this here for now. I'm going to go have some breakfast. And then I'll come back a little bit after breakfast. And uh, maybe we'll talk, uh, if my mind is cleared enough, we'll talk some more. If not, it'll be later on during the day. <laughs> if, if, after I've, you know, after I've woken up. I think it's part of the thing is that I'm, I'm hungry, so. That's, it, when you don't have enough uh, uh, food in your body to produce the energy, the energy drops off in addition to your fatigue, so uh, compounds the problem. Anyways, I will see you I say either uh, after breakfast, if I'm alright after breakfast, or if not, later on during the day. Alright, take it easy. Well, I am vlogging. <laughs> uh, the mishaps have not stopped me from vlogging. Although, uh, in the previous year, it would, this would have sort of completely knocked me out. Uh, it is after breakfast, so I'll give you the time and date stamp. It is... Uh, let's see here. 17 hours and 28 minutes into the day of Saturday, March 29th, 2014. That's our time and date stamp. Uh, it is several hours after I started vlogging. In the morning, what I call the morning anyways. Uh, I've been doing, I'm doing some laundry. I'm just sort of finishing up the laundry that I had to do. There's, there's some extra laundry that had to be done. Uh, and I'm also sort of mapping my way out of the problems. <laughs> That's what I'm kind of doing now. It's sort of, you have to sort of, what is it, once, you, once you get an assessment of what's going on, you get an idea of what possible damages might be, and then you start mapping your way out. And that's kind of where we are now, and I realized that I'm going to have to realign the entire network, uh, and that will be so I can, uh, one, uh, do net uh, network-wide editing bay, this will spread out the uh, workload from one system to a variety of systems so there's not too much uh, information on one system so that if one system goes down, not so bad. And that means I'm also going to have to remap 
the uh, network storage to split up the split up the storage rather than being on one system it spread throughout the network in other words uh, I'm going to load we call it load balance the network storage so that it's not all in one place it it doesn't carry all the load and you can sort of balance things out between uh, a variety of different hard drives rather than having everything on one hard drive uh, so that's the way I'm going to do that uh, and I have started to work on that now I'm actually uh, I did a network audit to see what systems are on, what, what their IP addresses are, and now I'm going to realign the networks to uh, uh, adjust for this, to adjust for what they're going to each, each, each what each part is going to do, and then uh, go from there on out. Uh, I'm also looking in the back warehouse, the machine shop, looking at uh, the different bits and parts that I have uh, for Project Tesla. And it looks like I've got more than enough wire, and I've also got enough uh, bits and parts uh, that Product Tech Tesla, uh, excuse me, by October ninth, uh, by October, by October, should be well on its way to, to uh, being on, becoming on, uh, getting onto the um, one electronics bench, and then also two back at the the warehouse machine shop. In other words. By October, uh, not only the bench will have multiple projects on it, including the Tesla project, but the warehouse will have Tesla pro the Tesla project as well. The machine shop will be functioning, it will be operational, and uh, Project Tesla will be there as well. The Project Tesla will be in two different places. The finer electronics will be here. The more um, high voltage stuff, uh, or apparently high voltage stuff, Will be uh, in uh, the back warehouse. That'll be the uh, the heavier work. The, the heavier work that includes wire 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 winding, so that you can build a Tesla coil. I have enough wire so I can build a Tesla coil. Uh, I'll also have enough wire that as I can build my coils, I can do and go up and uh, do the work that Faraday did. Repeat re repeat the research that Faraday did. And that way, I can connect the work uh, on Faraday's coils with uh, the work that Tesla did on coils. So there's a, there's a Faraday coil, and then there's a Tesla coil. It, I want to see what meet, what uh, matches up with what, uh, and what doesn't match up. You know, where are the holes? Where are the, uh, in, many, in many cases, inconsistencies? And this will sort of give me a direction where to go from next uh, in terms of the experimental direction. So these things are coming together. It's slowly but surely things are all coming together. Uh, and uh, the way I decided to do this because the uh, the, the BTS logs are kind of backed up. I'm doing some new testing now, and it should be up uh, by Monday. If you want a quicker update for what I'm doing here, uh, I'll be adding ad hoc notes to the variety of different net the, 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 to to a variety uh, of different uh, research institute channels, my different, the different institutes that handle very, various different areas of research. Uh, because it's too much actually to fit, fit in here. I actually now have point, uh, a problem where I have too much content in here to fit in here. So it's going to split up and I'm going to start using the network more now, the uh, the Cyborg Alpha TV network, to get the, the, the stuff out there. So uh, I will be posting notes and links to uh, these other channels. Uh, you can go look at them whenever, whenever you want to. Uh, you can subscribe to them. So if you want updates to see when, when this next stuff is coming out, uh, you can do that as well. Uh, the the uh, updates on these other channels are not going to be uh, organized vlogs. They're going to be ad hoc notes. So they're going to be random stuff, particularly in the beginning. And then later on, as enough notes get up there, we'll start organizing things, collecting notes together. You know, in other words, uh, we start off in a general way, and then we uh, bring our focus in further and further, and start to organize as we start to organize. So that's the way I'm going to approach things from now. Uh, I think that's about it. I still do have some more work to do uh, on uh, Ubuntu BSD Unix Intel. I hope to get up an episode of that uh, up uh, this weekend. I think I, I, now that I have uh, the uh, network-wide editing bay, I can pull 
uh, the Ubuntu BSD unit to tell editing off of one sy the system ev that everything's on now and move it on to another system that has more room. In other words, we can start freeing up space simply by reorganizing the network. This will give me enough time, or buy me enough time that, that by Friday when the new hard drive comes in, uh, which will be three terabytes, I'll be able to now have a lot more room on the hard, on, on the network to really start, you know, balance, to really, you know, start uh, a better production schedule to, to do things, move things a little bit further, further ahead, uh, rather as rather than the way they are now. So, uh, I'm gonna leave that here for now, and I will be talking to you guys. Oh. Probably in a couple of hours for the beginning of the next BTS vlog, which will probably cover from the 29th, uh, which is today to the Saturday. The 30th is Sunday, and I would estimate it's going to go into the 31st as well. So uh, we're looking for the 29th to the 30th. That would be the next BTS vlog, and that, and when I come back uh, later on tonight, it's going to be the first segment. All right, take it easy. Have a good day. Democratic Earth. Earth.